Hello, my name is Janika and welcome. Me and my boyfriend Rul traveled around some Balkan countries for about two weeks. In this video, you'll get to join us exploring Zagreb and Samobor. Zagreb is the capital city of Croatia and Samobor is an idyllic little city located close by. Let me first give you guys a tour of this little apartment that we have. Over here is our bed and the apartment is like a bit like a long hallway style but it actually works pretty well so yeah like I said here's our bed then here we have like a small kitchen and there seems to be actually quite a lot of spices and we can cook some food and a fridge and a toaster and a water cooker so there's also a TV from the entrance it looks like this and of course a very important feature there's air conditioning and then over here we have the bathroom there's a washing machine which is always nice and yeah it's just a very clean modern looking bathroom i think it's a very nice looking apartment and i'm sure we'll be happily staying here for the next three nights our plan now is to relax for a little bit as we've just done like a six hour bus journey from Serbia. Then our plan is to still go into the city for the evening to have some dinner and to get a bit of a first touch to the city and see what it's like. Today is our first proper day in Zagreb and our first activity is that we are going on a free walking tour as I think that's one of the best ways to get like a overview of the city and on the walking tours you usually get a bunch of great ideas also on what to do and where to eat and yeah it's just a great way to start a trip somewhere and to learn about the place more so that's where we're headed now. During the walking tour we got to explore both the lower part of Zagreb as well as the historic upper town. Our guide was great and we got to learn about the history and what life is like in Zagreb. Zagreb is no doubt a very beautiful city with its Austro-Hungarian architecture. This cannon seconds. over here is about to go off. Over your ears and open your mouth. Ah. Ah. <laughs> For lunch I had this delicious smoothie bowl that truly hit the spot on a hot day. We then came across this tunnel that you can walk through, located in the city center. Ooh. This tunnel was built during World War II to serve both as a bomb shelter and a promenade. It was nice and cool inside the tunnel, so we ended up walking through it several times, just for the sake of cooling off. As you might have maybe seen from my video, almost every single church here in Zagreb is under construction. And that is because there was an earthquake here in 2020, or actually there was two earthquakes here in 2020, and they are still repairing a lot of the places here after that. And it seems like most cathedrals and churches and stuff are closed and under renovation, which is a bit of a pity, but let's hope they all get restored to their former glory soon. 
In the chocolate museum, you receive a box in the beginning of the tour. And the idea is that you have something different to taste in the different rooms of the museum. So when you enter room one, you taste what is marked as number one in the box. In the first room, for example, where you get to learn about the origins of chocolate, you then get to taste a raw cacao bean. So far, the cacao bean and the chocolate mass, I've tasted were both very bitter. My favorite part of the museum is definitely this room with liquid chocolate, where you are allowed to eat of it as much as you want with the spoon that you also received in the little box that they gave you. Trying the ruby chocolate now. Really good. They also have a little chocolate shop at the end of the museum. If your chocolate cravings weren't satisfied during the tour or you want to buy some souvenirs, then no worries. You can buy some to bring with you as well. When we were in Belgrade, I found this Korean supermarket and there I found this Jin Jajang. Uh, uh, it's like these noodles that I've been wanting to try actually for a long time. So I decided to buy them and tonight I decided to try them out. Uh, yeah, I know this is not maybe the glamorous traveling restaurant food experience <laughs> you were expecting but we are doing this trip on a bit of a budget and honestly I am so excited to try these noodles, believe it or not. <laughs> I know a noodle tasting clip is maybe not what you expected when clicking on a Zagreb travel vlog <laughs> but this is sometimes the reality of a traveler. Let's try. Tastes very, very good. So basically what it is, it's noodles with like a black bean sauce. I must say it has a very unique taste. I haven't had noodles or anything that tastes quite like this before, but I approve, it's good. Would buy again. One of my dream destinations is definitely Korea. I know the day when I go there, I'm gonna be eating non-stop, but this will have to do for now. So today is actually our last full day. Originally, we were planning today to visit the Plitvice Lakes, which is like a beautiful national park with a bunch of beautiful waterfalls. But to go there from Zagreb, either you had to do a tour and the tours were like 120 euros, which is maybe a bit too much for us right now, or you could do it yourself with a bus. But in order to get there in an okay time, you would have had to take a bus that leaves at like 6 a.m. So we would have had to wake up at like 5 a.m. And the bus there takes like two and a half hours and then still the two and a half hours back. So we would have had to use five hours of our last day on basically just sitting on the bus. So it felt like a bit too much to be honest. So instead we have decided that we're gonna go somewhere else. And we found that there's this cute, smaller city quite close to Zagreb where it only takes half an hour to get to and this city is called Samobor. It looks really beautiful on the photos. There's this bus station that is quite close to us from where you can take the bus to Samobor and we are now here at that bus stop. So yeah, today we will be exploring the city of Samobor. I don't know much about the place other than it looks pretty and apparently there's like a small nice hike you can do there to some nice viewpoint and that kind of stuff. I'm excited to explore a new place today. I hope you are too. We have now arrived to the city of Samobor. It seems very quiet so far. The bus station is a bit outside of the city center, so we're now walking there. Also, if you come here, make sure to check a bit the timetable, how often the bus goes, because, well, today's Sunday, so there's not that many buses, so we need to make sure to be on time back at the station for the bus that we want to take back home, or otherwise we need to wait like two hours for the next one.
almost ruined my mouth. <laughs> we have now arrived to the old town here and it is so cute so far what we have seen. We came first now to a little cafe here as we feel like we're in the need of some refreshments. What I am liking the most about the city so far is just like the relaxed atmosphere. It feels like no one's in a rush. Everyone's just kind of chilling, walking slowly, sitting and drinking their coffees. And yeah, just a very pleasant and relaxed and like chill vibe and atmosphere. Yeah, it's just a very, a very pleasant place, I must say. I'm really liking it. There is a little like castle ruin place. We're a bit confused how to get there, but we think this might be the route up there. We're not sure. So we're gonna try it out and see where we end up. Okay, I think we're on the right path, but it's a proper climb and in 33 degrees heat it's feeling quite hot and we were stupid and we don't have water bottles either. We have finally reached our destination and apparently some famous film was filmed here. It was filmed with Jackie Chan and apparently when filming at this location Jackie Chan almost lost his life. So that's a random fact about this place. We have arrived to what I think is like the main spot. Look at these beautiful ruins and look at this view. Wow. Okay, I think these views were definitely worth the hot and <laughs> sticky climb. If you watched my previous video from Bosnia Herzegovina, you might know that I'm a bit scared when it comes to going down if it's very steep. And this climb has a few of those spots and it's a bit scary. We are almost back down and then we're gonna try and find some nice place where to have some lunch and relax. Okay, I know I said we would go down and have some lunch and somehow instead we have ended up having some cake, but in my defense, this place is very famous for this kind of cake. It's called uh, Creme Snita and it's basically a cream cake. Looks good. Let's try out this cake. It's all jiggly. Mm. Well, I like this cake more than the one yeah. we had in uh, Mostar. It tastes a bit like a vanilla custard or something. And this part on top reminds me of what's uh, on a strudel. Very good. The time has come to fly back to the Netherlands. Luckily though, our vacation doesn't end here and we are going on the next little trip already tomorrow. This marks the end of this little Balkan series and this travel vlog. I hope you have enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos in the future, join the journey and subscribe to this channel. I'll see you guys again on my next adventure. Bye bye.